a lot of people ask me why they're not losing weight. I'm gonna take you through my day and kind of spill my secrets and thoughts on why I think a lot of people can't lose the weight, even if they have the best intentions. These may be a little surprising, so keep on watching. It's recording. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a weekend. It is a beautiful day outside. I just got my coffee as you can see. I got my little onyx. It's my current obsession right now. We are on our way to Tulsa in Oklahoma. We are about an hour and a half or two hours away from Tulsa. So we're just taking a day trip there. Today in this video we're going to talk about some pretty interesting stuff. I get asked a lot why they can't lose their weight or keep it off even if they have the best intentions. This video, I'm gonna share some secrets as to why you may not be losing the weight. If you're interested, keep on watching and let's get on with the day. We're at uh, a Poke Bowl place in Tulsa. I got myself a Poke Bowl. Looks delicious with brown rice. And what did you get? I got uh, salmon and tuna burrito. It has a bunch of stuff in it. Seaweed, edamame, um, ginger. You look really cute with your hat on. Thank you. Appreciate you. Do I look cute? Give a thumbs up if I look cute. <laughs> <laughs> the first mistake that I see a lot of people make is when they go out to eat at restaurants, they slather their meals and salads and dressing and sauce. Those are very, very high in calories and you don't actually need all of them. What you do is you go to the restaurant, whether it's salad or whatnot, you ask for sauce or dressing on the side. That way you can control how much sauce you can drizzle on top. You will save hundreds of calories that way. It's unfortunate because I see a lot of people ordering a salad, thinking they're being healthy, but then it comes out drenched in ranch sauce or whatnot, and might as well just gotten fried chicken. You're better off eating a fried chicken than ordering a salad drenched in dressing that's high in fat and carbs because a lot of times those are very, very, very high in calories and you don't want to waste your calories on a salad. To the ice cream. To the ice cream. <laughs> the second thing that I see a lot of people do that is a huge mistake and a huge no-no is they restrict their calories and they deprive themselves of a lot of things. When you do that, your body goes into starvation mode and your body essentially tries to hold on to as much, and your body tries to hold on to as much fat as possible. And you know what? If you actually deprive yourself of everything, you're more likely to splurge and binge on those things later on. So moderation is key. Make sure that you incorporate those sweets or whatever you like in your diet, but in moderation and plan them all out. Right now, we're gonna go get some ice cream and make sure that we are not depriving ourselves of what makes us happy. Ice cream makes me happy. <laughs> we're at the gathering place. Basically, a giant outdoor playground. Now guys, I know it's a lot easier said than done to be in moderation because I'm not very good at moderation. I'm a very extreme person. I know that that tip is not very easy to follow, but I'm not saying if you're feeling like you want to eat ice cream, go have ice cream whenever you want because if you tell me that, I will eat ice cream all the time. So what I recommend is be intentional about when you're eating what. Have a plan in place. What is it called? A goal without a plan is a... A dream? No, a dream without a plan is a... just a dream? Do you know what I'm talking about? I think a goal without a plan is a dream, maybe? Oh yeah, yeah, <laughs> something like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about. But what you need to do is plan out your meals in advance. I'm not saying eat whatever you want because otherwise you'll be deprived. Because in that case, I'm always deprived because I could always eat and I will eat myself to death. What I'm saying is be intentional about what you're eating. Make sure you're not depriving yourself of the essentials. Make sure you're not depriving yourself of 
everything. Um, if you want ice cream, don't have ice cream every meal, but be intentional. Say, okay, on Saturday, if I do well, I'm gonna have one scoop of ice cream or two scoops of ice cream. Not 15, not 15 every night. Just plan things out and be smart about it. This is my ride. <laughs> That's my ride. That's my ride. That's my ride. This is my ride. <laughs> Does it suit me? Yes. I hate this bag. <laughs> Dude, you're in a ruin. Is it on? I think so. But like, why is it on its side? How do you wear it? Like, on my back? I think I have it on backwards. You got it? I think this is it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Are you filming me? The next mistake that I see a lot of people make is they just don't get enough movement or activity throughout the day. When I lived in New York, I walked at minimum two to three miles every single day and it wasn't even work. It was just to get to work, to come home, to go to the gym, etc. You just racked up a lot of miles. And when I moved down to Arkansas, that dramatically changed. I was barely walking maybe half a mile, if that. So I really had to learn how to incorporate more daily activity, get some more movement throughout the day. If you're not getting enough energy, if you're not getting enough movement, make sure that you find opportunities to get a little more exercise throughout the day. Whether it's taking the stairs or whatnot, they really do count. I know because I'm just like this, I remember thinking, no, I don't wanna take the stairs. I'd rather go to the gym and work out because to me, that feels like I'm working out more. But the reason why I'm able to stay lean throughout the year is because I find these little opportunities to stay active because they really do make a difference. That is actually one secret that I have that how I am able to stay lean throughout the year regardless of how much I eat. A lot of people ask me, how are you so petite? But you know, you eat a lot and you still stay lean. I don't necessarily feel lean 365 days of the year, but what I do do is I always stay active. We just walked a little over 1.6 miles today out in the park. It's a beautiful day out, even if it's cold out, snuggle up, bundle up, and get some exercise, walk around. You don't always need to be running or sprinting to lose weight. Right now, we're gonna get in the car and head over to the salon because I am in dire need of a haircut. Hence, the reason why it's been up in a ponytail. Okay, let's go. Look guys, I got a new hairdo. I look like a real person now. I now have volume in my hair. I went to Z Studio in Tulsa and saw, I forgot her name. Dang it, it was Reina, yes. I got my hair done by Reina. She was so attentive, very detail oriented, like got every single strand of hair and make sure that it was on point. I like it. Mr. Joe. Mr. Joe. I love Trader Joe's almond butter, and I don't know why. I just come here just for the almond butter, nothing else. The no salt, crunchy, organic almond butter. It's a uh, stuffing chip. Yo, yo, yo. We just went to Macy's. The last one I've been in is the one in New York on 34th Street. That one's obviously very different. But I haven't been to like a Macy's in the suburbs or outside of New York in a long time. And it's changed dramatically. It looks completely different. Anyways, we were in Trader Joe's and it was a little too loud in there so I couldn't really talk to you guys. But the next tip, you need to watch out for marketing. People grab for things they think it's healthy because the bag says so, or the packaging says it's healthy and it's fat free, it's gluten free, so you must be healthy. Not everything is as it seems. Marketers do a really, really great job, so you really have to pay attention to the details. For example, I'm gonna show you guys what you see right now. One might think it's pretty healthy, so you would pick it up, but if you look at the back and look at the nutrition info, you realize it's not good at all. You have to also look at the serving size because the serving size makes all the difference. You have to pay attention to the details. Don't trust the packaging. Understand that the marketers know exactly what they're doing. Know that the retailers know exactly what they're doing and pay attention to the details. So, 
it's getting a little dark. Make sure that you're paying attention when you go shopping just because it says it's healthy or because it's veggie chips, because it's made out of veggies, doesn't mean it's healthy. You really have to understand how to read the nutrition label. Really pay attention to the back. Don't just look at the front. And just because it's made out of veggies or it's gluten-free or it's... I don't know, something does not mean that it's healthy, does not mean that it's a low calorie food. Be smart about it. Don't just shop with your eyes. It's nine o'clock and we needed some grub, so we are at La Hacienda Numero Dos. The final one for the night. Do not consume your calories in the form of liquids. I see this happen time and time again. They'll do really, really well in terms of what they chew on and eat, but then they'll mess up when it comes to liquids, whether it's at the bar or whether it's just ordering a soda. If you drink all of your calories, I'm telling you, they won't keep you full. So you're gonna have to drink those calories and eat something to keep you satisfied. And so that's double the calories. Don't drink your calories. Make sure you fill your stomach up with nutrient-dense foods. Be careful about what you order because you want to be wise about what you put in, not just what you chew, and but what you drink as well. I hope those tips helped you guys and thank you so much for spending the day with me. Be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified next time I come up with a new video on everything health and fitness. I need to eat, so I'll see you next time. Bye.